This cannot be an easy day for you, especially when you just heard what John King was laying out in the polls and you just heard what I laid out with regard to the spoiled children factor. Uh, how are you going to weather this? And I'll begin with you, Congressman um, Blackburn. Yes, you know, I, I think that what we look at is that the American people have repeatedly said they want things to be under control and run by an orderly process in Washington, D.C. We completely agree with that. And that is why we have repeatedly sent options and possibilities to the Senate. And I tell you, I think that the House is as disappointed as the American people that the Senate decided they were going to take off and have a weekend to go to ball games and play golf and things of that nature. We've been here working. We wish they were back in town now and we were addressing this. We agree with the American people. Don't shut the government down. We don't want to. What we want to do is keep it open and keep working to fix some of these programs that have very obvious, substantiated you know, problems and glitches like Obamacare. It just sounds so simple when you say it like that, and it reminds me of my time in the it Middle is. East, where both Palestinians and Israelis say, we just want peace. But you both want your way, and neither one of you seems to want to blink in this ridiculous staring contest where we're the ones who need the Visine. So, Congressman well, well, Rohrbacher, well, yeah. why well, the continuing well. resolution? And for those in our audience who hate the technical speak, why yeah. connect the funding of the government, the entire U.S. economy, why bring it to this brink? Why not do it at all the other times all of the other hundred plus Congresses have been able to fund the government? Well, have you addressed that to the Senate? I mean, we've already offered a compromise. You're acting, you're telling your listeners that we Republicans are holding this up and the government's going to shut down. We have actually reached out to the Democrats with a compromise position. Congressman, that's not fair. Don't it. you dare put we this back on, on me. You know full you well, no, no, uh, you know full well you attached to Obamacare and defunding it. Am I a guest on the new show? Am I here to listen to the tirade? You cannot make something up. Am I a guest on your new show? Are you here to give us a tirade? Let you can't make up sentence. facts, sir. Let me finish you pass my a sentence. bill back to the Let Senate saying defund sentence. Obamacare. Excuse me, do your listeners understand this is the same thing we're putting up with, with the Senate? We offer a compromise. They won't even talk to us about it. You won't even talk to us about it. Whose bidding are you doing? We have offered the compromise. We don't like Obamacare. They like it. We have, written, we have reached out halfway to them, put on the table a proposal, passed a resolution to keep the government going. They opposed the resolution to keep the government going and now say, there's no negotiations, we get it all or you get nothing. So, and you're blaming us? So if you want to 